good day, the state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Western Armenia requests that the issue of the occupation of Western Armenia be included in the agenda of the permanent debates of the Human Rights Council, Sons of Western Armenia, Tatul Hazarian, on the issue of the Armenians of Western Armenia. Berzo Road must be opened immediately, U.S. State Department spokesman, three days, three cities, three festivals, music festival culture begins in the regions of Lori, Gerhard Kunig and Sunik. Four of those who visit the Hasmik children's camp in Hankavan in the Martuni community are children of displaced families from Artsal. Madam President, after the genocide of the Armenians in Western Armenia occupied from 1894 to 1923 by successive Turkish governments, the indigenous Armenian refugees who survived the genocide were given an identity and travel document in 1922 called the Nansen Passport, which did not previously exist. This Nansen Passport is one of the oldest passports adopted in 1922 by the League of Nations, and it is also a reason why the indigenous Armenians of Western Armenia have taken into account the continuity of this Nansen passport in direct and practical application of their right to self-determination until their independence recognized by the states in 1917 to 1920 and in accordance with Article 6 of the Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples adopted by the United Nations. However, even if the Armenians of occupied Western Armenia survivors of genocide dies testify to their willingness to find mechanisms for applying their right, after 100 years of struggle and perseverance which we have commemorated these days, indigenous nations and peoples have obtained a declaration on the rights of indigenous peoples, and this is still not binding on states. I therefore invite the United Nations in partnership with indigenous governments and peoples to adopt a legal instrument on the deoccupation of indigenous territories and their right to self-determination, which will be binding on member states following the numerous complaints and testimonies presented every year to the expert mechanism on the rights of indigenous peoples and other UN bodies. The time has therefore come to advance the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples into a specific international legal instrument. Thank you, Madam President. Armena Abrahamian, President of the National Council of Western Armenia. 16th session of the expert mechanism on the rights of indigenous peoples, Madam President, the Armenian state recognized in 1920, of which the state of Western Armenia is the successor state, was one of the first indigenous states to be recognized by other states after the First World War. At the first assembly of the League of Nations, the Armenian question was raised, and in its ninth plenary session in 1920, the assembly adopted a resolution in favor of collaboration between it and the Council. I would like to take this opportunity to salute all the governments that declared themselves ready at the time to contribute to the support of Armenia, as well as President Wilson of the United States. I would remind you that in 1917 it was Russia that first decreed the right to self-determination for Western Armenia until it gained independence. The Allied powers then moved towards the creation of an independent Armenia, which was later dismantled by a Stalinist program. On the basis of the suffering of the Armenian people and their history, an Armenian state was recognized de facto on January 19, 1920, and de jure on May 11, 1920, by the Supreme Council of the Allied Powers. The Wilson Arbitration Award, signed on November 22, 1920, subsequently established Armenia's western border. It was in this capacity that the Armenian delegation of 1920 signed the Treaty of Sever, and that Western Armenia, as a continuator state, ratified the said treaty on June 24, 2016. Following a period of unrepresentativeness as a consequence of the genocide against Armenians, the mechanism of our national reconstitution more than 100 years after the crime is at work and our self-governance has resulted, among other things, in the constitution of our government in which I have the honor of occupying the position of Indigenous Minister of Foreign Affairs. Bearing in mind that the three constitutive elements of a state are population, a territory, and the government, the uninterrupted continuation of the Turkish Ottoman genocide program began in 1894 and the illegal occupation of our territory under international law have no other aim than to prevent the existence of our indigenous state of Western Armenia, recognized by more than 30 states sitting today at the United Nations. In view of the above, we propose that the question of the occupation of Western Armenia be placed on the agenda of the permanent debates of the Human Rights Council. Thank you for your attention. 
The commander has no right to stand behind the soldiers, said Tatu Ghazaryan, the national hero of the Republic of Armenia. The national hero was born in 1978 in Ijevan. In 2010-2012, to 2012, he studied at the Moscow Military Academy of the Russian Federation. In the following years, he served in various military units of the Armenian Armed Forces. Since 2018, he has been the commander of the Ijevan military unit. He has received numerous state awards. Tatu Ghazaryan died heroic during the 44-day war of 2020, pulling his wounded soldiers from the battlefield on October 19. On January 27, 2021, Armen Sarkisyan, in accordance with Article 136 of the Constitution as well as Article 5.3, Part 1 and 9 of the Law on State Awards and Honorary Titles of the Republic of Armenia, Tatul Ghazaryan was posthumously awarded the title of National Hero of Armenia and the Order of the Fatherland for his outstanding services in the defense and security of the fatherland, his dedication and bravery during combat operations. King Huminus II of the Asia Minor state of Pergamon, who lived in the 2nd century BC, was a passionate lover of literature. In the capital of his state, Pergamon, now Bargama, he decided to build a huge library. At the time, the main writing material was Egyptian papyrus, so Huminus II sent a group of people to Greece to buy papyrus. The Greeks, however, refused to sell them papyrus. The wisdom of no harm without good worked perfectly in this case. The masters of Pergamon offered mankind a new New writing material by specially treating calf and lamb skins. It was called the Pergamon Parchment. The Armenians did not accept this word and introduced the word scroll into circulation. Interestingly, Artsakh girls were also called Magagat. Sayat Nova used the word scroll twice in his Armenian games. The manuscript is a collection of speeches, moral testimonies, historical extracts, and quotations classified according to the festivals of the year, for which it is also called Festival Mosho Charantir. Manuscript originally numbered. 660 diaries, 601 of them in Yerevan, 17 in Venice. The manuscript was stolen in 2202 by a foreign judge from Babert and after hiding it in Halat for two years. The ransom was collected by local residents and the monastery's faithful. Until 1915, the manuscript was kept in the Mosho Arakelot Monastery. During the Great Genocide, two Armenian women divided the manuscript into two parts and transported it to Eastern Armenia. The two parts then reached the Armenian ethnic graphic social team Tiflis by different routes from where they were brought to Yerevan. The United States continues to be deeply concerned that Azerbaijan continues to keep the Berzo Road closed to commercial, humanitarian, and private vehicles. U.S. State Department spokesman Matthew Miller said in response to reader Armenians' questions, stressing that commercial, humanitarian, and private vehicle traffic through the Berzo Road should be restored immediately. Miller noted that the suspension of movement for humanitarian purposes aggravates the humanitarian situation and undermines efforts to build confidence in the peace process. He also also noted, commercial, humanitarian, and private vehicle traffic along the Berzo Road must be restored immediately. We consistently support the view that peace in the region should include guaranteeing the rights and security of the people of Artsakh. We welcome dialogue that advances this goal, replied the U.S. State Department spokesman. The government of Western Armenia welcomes the mediation of any state and international organization and the statement made at the state level, which reflects the issues of the right and life security of the natives of Artsakh. Our government's program includes the most important issues of concern to indigenous territories and indigenous peoples. From July 16 to 19, 2023, at the 60th session of the expert mechanism on the rights of indigenous peoples held at the United Nations, our delegation, which included President Armenak Abrahamian, Chairman of the National Council of Western Armenia, which is also the political body of the Republic of Western Armenia, and Lydia Markosian, Minister of Foreign Affairs, and others spoke about the rights of indigenous peoples and states in their speeches which you can find with the link below. Special reference was made to the territorial rights of Artsakh and its indigenous people. The Festival Music Festival, organized by Channel One with the support of the Array Minister of Education and Culture, will be held in Vanadzor, Gavar, and Sisyan. Participants will have the opportunity to taste local products, visit the hidden and famous corners of the towns, and enjoy the concert program. With participation in the festival, we are wrapping up our concert season, which was full, says the orchestra's artistic director and conductor, Seger Sembatian. According to him, the festival program is really interesting and creative. Symphonic variety 
Variety by Sonar Benyan and Iveta Makuchian Symphonic Reincarnation, Roland Gasparian and Reincarnation Orchestra. According to the TV company's executive director, the festival's impact is very important as people will visit Van Adzor, Gavar and Sisian on these days and perhaps return which can contribute to the development of tourism in these towns. Talking about the Armenian painting, he says that Sarian's painting attracted them because all the landscapes of Armenia are represented on the canvas. Mountains, rivers, forests, there is a festive set. The bright colors that Sarian uses in his paintings are very attractive. Our festival is also synonymous with bright colors and joy, concludes Movsisian. 38 children from the Martoni community in the Gerarkunik region went to the Hasmik Children's Camp, which operates in the villages of Mehradzor, located in the town of Hrazdan in the Kotaik region, for a free 20-day summer vacation. According to the Martini Municipal Administration staff who informed Armen Press, the group of campers also includes four children from families displayed from Artsakh, living in the town of Martuni and continuing their studies in Martuni's public educational institutions. On the 1st of July and 20th of July, 37 children from the town of Martuni initially went to the children's recreation camp and later six other children joined them. The second rest period begins on July 20 and ends on August 10. The children going on the Vacation were selected exclusively according to the established procedure. Employees of the Array Ministry of the Interior's Patrol Service, accompanied by representatives from the Gerar Kunig Regional Office, ensured the safe movement of the children on vacation during the second shift, said staff at the Martini Community Hall. Thank you for your time and attention. Now the musical part, the Armenian folk song. <laughs> Ne hayeru, 